Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedy, back with another Dokkan Battle video. So, after much speculation over the past couple weeks, the 300 million download celebration has finally been confirmed by none other than Bandai themselves on both their Twitter page and their Facebook page. And as you can see, it says, Notice, celebrating 300 million global downloads, Dokkan Battle Summer Vacation Special Livestream Confirmed for Saturday, August 17th at 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We plan to share all sorts of new information to celebrate 300 million downloads. We'll also be live posting updates from the stream on Facebook. Be sure to check in. You can expect a Dragonstones present at the end, so get pumped. I am definitely very, very pumped. And I don't remember last year how many Dragonstones we got for the live stream, but I would expect to get a decent amount, maybe... Uh, at least like 15, 20, maybe even more. Like I said, I don't remember, but uh, that's always nice. Free stones, I like that. And it says that the live stream will be Japanese only, which kind of sucks. But, um, yo, dragon stones. That's all I care about. Okay, I don't really care about the actual live stream, if I'm being completely honest. I care about the fact that the 300 million download celebration has officially been confirmed by the fact that they're having a live stream. And also, we're getting free stones. So, that's freaking awesome, guys. Um, definitely get pumped, like the post says. And what I want to do in this video, the purpose of today's video, is that I want to give you guys a general idea of what to expect for this upcoming massive celebration by taking us all the way back to last year's download celebration, the 250 million download celebration. And uh, based off what happened there, we can speculate and get a rough idea of what's coming up this year. And hopefully this video will just help you guys get better prepared for this upcoming massive celebration, especially for those newer players who have never been around for a download celebration before. This video will definitely let you know exactly what the hype is all about. And let me just tell you right now, the hype is 100% justified because these download celebrations are absolutely amazing. In fact, they are close to, if not on par with anniversaries, at least in my opinion. And it should just be a really, really good time for everybody. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. And the first thing we're gonna start with here is actually the countdown campaign leading up to the download celebration. And these things are pretty standard for major celebrations in Dokkan because Bandai generally likes to hype things up a little bit. And even though it was only a countdown campaign, it was actually really damn nice. So let's check it out. The first thing we have on top here is the countdown login bonus. And that's always nice, you know, some free stones. Um, I'll always take it, I'm happy with that, but it's nothing crazy, right? But the thing right under it, number two, is definitely worth getting excited about, and that is the Purunga Dragon Ball campaign. Now, I believe JP actually got one recently for the Tanabata celebration, but when it comes to global, it has been a long ass time since we last had our very own Purunga Dragon Ball campaign. And in fact, if my memory serves me correctly, which I'm not sure if it does, I might be forgetting one in between, but what I can remember is that this was actually the last one we had on Global, I think. And if that's the case, if that's true, then that's really, really sad because it's been a year and we are way overdue for one. So Bandai Spies, if you're watching, of course you are because there's a lot of you. Um, please bring it back because we need one. And if you guys don't know how this works, if you weren't around for one, uh, basically during the campaign, we get one new Dragon Ball per day based on a clue. And once we collect seven, we can summon Purunga and make wishes for some absolutely amazing rewards like 10,000 orbs or three of each Kai or training items and so on and so forth. And for this specific celebration, we actually had three sets of Dragon Balls for three sets of wishes, which was a ton of orbs, a ton of Kais, and it was really awesome. So fingers crossed this comes back for Global and JP, but especially Global, because like I said, we are overdue for it. And uh, one thing I do want to make clear again is that nothing's for sure. Like, I think we're going to get it, but this is all speculation at the end of the day because nobody really knows what Bandai has in store for us but I really hope Purunga happens again. Uh, so yeah, that's number two. And moving on now, number three, we have, well, three and four actually, is a new uh, Extreme Z battle, Extreme Z Awakening. And on Global last year, it was the family Kamehameha units. Um, and this year, I think we will get a new one as well. And I'm really praying, please, Bandai, to give us 
Int Janemba. Now, if you're a Bandai Spy watching and you weren't aware or maybe you were confused about what we want, Global wants Int Janemba. He is way, way overdue, just like the Kurunga Dragon Ball campaign. I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, we need him. We want him. We've been wanting him for a long time. And my fellow global players, my global people, I have been lobbying for the last couple of months to make Janemba a thing. And so far it hasn't worked, but don't worry, I'm not gonna give up until it actually happens, all right? So hopefully this new Extreme Z battle for this year is gonna be for the Int Janemba, and uh, that would make a lot of people very, very happy. Now it could be potentially like an Int Golden Frieza, no, a Tech Golden Frieza, or like a Physical Goku Black or something like that, which would be nice too, that's okay, but Int Janemba is what we want right now, all right? So that's number three and four. And for number five, I actually forgot about this. I mean, I remembered LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, but I forgot that this was when we got it. And this was when we actually got the new Friend Summon LR, the LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. And I don't know if we're gonna get a new one this year. There's been no news about it, so it's kind of hard to say, but let's say we do get one for this year's celebration. I really hope, I'm really praying that it's gonna be a character that has not gotten a lot of respect and not, not a lot of love yet. And uh, you guys know what I'm thinking. It's got to be LR Krillin. Like, come on. We got Piccolo with a sick new card. We got Yamcha and Tien, both with LRs for the World Tournament. And our boy Krillin, it's still, you know, getting shafted. So um, if we get a new friend summon LR, I'm really hoping it's going to be a Krillin. Um, if they want to do like a, you know, World Tournament LR Krillin as well instead, that's okay too. But Krillin needs a good card, and I think the friend summon makes sense for him, so yeah, fingers crossed for that too. So that's number five, new friend summon LR, and then number six is just a world with a hero extermination event uh, being available every single day and some new awakening medals added, um, which is cool, but I don't really know what the equivalent this year would be, so we're just going to move past that. And seven, eight, and nine are some... Uh, the return of some story events. I'm sure we'll get some other ones for this year as well. And uh, this one in particular, I hope we get the revamp on Global that JP got where we had the Awakenings for the uh, Trunks, the Goten, and the Videl. I'm not really sure what the equivalent would be for JP. Maybe JP will get some new story events instead. Instead of the revamps, they'll just get like straight up new stories, which I would not be surprised about because that happens a lot, right? So uh, yeah, new stories possibly, or the return of some old stories. And number 10 was a world tournament, and we did recently just have Int, or no, uh, STR Goku Black, the world tournament one that JP got a couple world tournaments ago, added to the global database. So that's pretty much a sign that a new world tournament is coming with the Goku Black as the reward. And I don't know what number it'd be, like 25, 26, 27, something like that, but either way, a new world tournament should be on the way as well, and it would make sense for that world tournament to be part of this campaign, but it could also be part of the Heroes campaign instead, but either way, world tournament coming within the next month, I'd say. And moving on from there, 11 is all Dokkan events open every day, that's fine. Uh, quadruple rank EXP, which is always amazing, always a good time to be farming rank if you guys are lower rank like 200 or something like that um, run story the last stage in story as much as possible get your rank up get some of those free stones too that come with ranking up and uh, yeah enjoy that and number 13 the most exciting part of this campaign of course can't go without it is prices in the baba shop reduced by 30 percent get hype guys and that is all that was there for the countdown campaign. Like I said, for a countdown campaign, something that's not even supposed to be that hype, it was actually pretty damn awesome with the Perunga and the new EZA and the new Friend Summon LR. Um, so yeah, I expect some good things for this year too. And now we're going to move on to the official, actual download celebration now. And this was the first part of the 250 million download celebration. There were two parts to it. So let's start with part one because that makes sense chronologically. <laughs> and uh, let's move down a little bit. So we're starting at the very top, number one with a new movie. It's just like a little you know, trailer movie thing that plays when you first open the app for the first time during the celebration. And I don't remember exactly what happened in it, to be honest, <laughs> but I think it was pretty awesome. And I always like these things, man. It's just, it shows that they put a little bit more extra effort into the game, which is always a good thing. And number two is 
uh, some login bonuses. I forgot how many stones we got every single day, but it was a decent amount, I believe. Um, maybe like three or four per day, something like that, but I can't say for sure. And number three is some special missions for some more stones, some more Kai's. Uh, I remember they were pretty generous with these missions and login bonuses, so expect a lot of free stones from those things alone. And number four is some daily missions. And number five is a world battle special mission. So this actually related to number six, which is the uh, JP versus global campaign. So let's actually pop over here to the separate page about the, sp the specific event. And it's called Clash Dokkan World Battle, where basically Global and JP faced off against each other for certain categories or certain like milestones for things. And um, the winner of the actual campaign would get this Goku and the loser would get this Frieza here. But at the end of the day, they were basically the same unit, just like a Frieza or a Goku. So it didn't really matter. And I think Global actually lost and ended up getting the, the Frieza. But in my opinion, the Frieza is actually better. It's cooler. Wait, hold on. I think I'm actually wrong. I think Global actually ended up winning this competition. And it was a huge upset. It was a huge shock to everybody because JP usually crushes Global in things like this. But this time around, we actually won and we ended up getting the Goku instead of the Frieza, which I was kind of upset about personally because I actually wanted the Frieza more. I like his art a lot more. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter since we both got, I think, the same rewards. And also the two cards, like I said, are pretty much the same cards, just a Goku or a Frieza. So it really didn't matter. And uh, I remember it was a good time. It was fun to have a little bit of friendly competition between the two versions. So. I really hope that this comes back as well because it was a good time. It was a good time. All right, let's go back now and move on to number seven. And this is a big one, guys. Really, really big one. So this is the download celebration um, ticket banner that a lot of people have their eyes on. And it basically is a banner that features almost all the Dokkan Fest exclusive units up to a certain point. So I think that this year um, we might get everything up until maybe Tech Hit, possibly. Uh, he might not be included. I really hope he is though because obviously I'm still missing him and it has been like eight months since he was released on Global. So it might make sense for him to be on there, but there's gonna be things like UI Goku, obviously, um, Physical Omega Shenron, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, um, AGL Turles, and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's a really good banner. And the way it works with the tickets is that everybody will be getting free tickets based on the number of stones that they spent since the last download celebration. And it's one ticket for every 50 stones. So let's say you spent um, a thousand stones since the last celebration, then you would be getting 20 tickets. If you spent 2,000, then 40 tickets. If you spent 3,000, then 60 tickets. And even if you're a free-to-play player, the good thing about this is that free-to-play players will also be getting stones just based on how many free-to-play stones that Bandai gives out over the course of a year, right? So I think last time, all free-to-play players got at least something like 60-ish tickets, somewhere around there, uh, because Bandai gave out over 3,000 stones over the course of the year before the 250 million download celebration. And I expect this year to be something similar, if not more, because I feel like Bandai has been getting a little bit more generous with the free-to-play stones, but uh, I guess it remains to be seen. If you're completely free-to-play, then I'm really curious to see how many stones you'll actually get, or rather how many tickets you'll actually get for the amount of stones you spent. And obviously, if you're a major whale, a mega whale, then uh, you'll be getting a lot more tickets. I think last year, I personally got something like two, 200 tickets, something like that, which is around the level that I kind of play at, right? I'm a dolphin, not really a whale. Um, and then you look at guys like Nano or Truth, who uh, got a lot more. I don't remember how many, maybe close to a thousand, something like that. Uh, but I could be wrong about that, so don't hold me to it. Uh, but either way, that's how it works. One ticket for every 50 stones spent since the last download celebration since last year. And um, everybody should be getting tickets regardless of whether you're free to play or pay to play. And let's see, so there's the tickets here. They're basically talking about exactly what I just said. The download celebration tickets will be distributed to players based on number of stones spent. There's also some super discounts uh, last year, which I think we'll get the same for this year as well. Um, big celebrations usually bring in big stone sales. 
and there's also the purple stone so there's a purple stone pack for the discounts and you could choose a 120 lead now hopefully this year like we will finally get a category like a green stone or a i don't know black stone white stone whatever color they want to make it doesn't really matter but i hope there is a stone for category leads because 120 leads as good as some of them are still are like still are um, are kind of like old now and people aren't very excited about getting a stone to choose one, right? So a category lead stone would actually get me to buy one of those packs and uh, yeah, make it happen Bandai, make it happen. <laughs> and we also got a free red dragon stone for one of those extreme Z awakenable units. Expect the same thing this year, definitely a red dragon stone should be in order. And number 12 is Pilaf's Trove, so we're gonna completely skip by that. And number 14 is interesting, so I think this might have been the first time they actually told us that if we hit first place in 7 countries or more, we get 50 Dragon Stones. So usually, even like for the 4 year anniversary just, that just happened, they didn't say anything until we actually hit top grossing in multiple countries and then we got the rewards, right? But this time around, they were like, you know what? If you guys do this, we will give you the stones. And we 100% did make it happen. It did. We did reach top grossing. So we got those stones. And maybe they'll do the same thing this year. Actually, I remember some people were pissed about this one. Because they were like, yo, they, they basically set a hard cap at 50 stones. So we can hit top grossing in like 100 countries. Which would never happen, of course. But let's say we hit top grossing in like... 20, 50, 100 countries, no matter what, we would still get 50 Dragon Stones, which is something interesting to think about since for the four year anniversary, we got 100 stones. So this could be a good or bad thing, depending on how you look at it, I guess, but definitely expect top grossing stones at some point during the anniversary, not anniversary, the download celebration, because people are very hyped. People are gonna be spending their money, they're gonna be pulling out their wallets, people like, uh, Warden or Nano, they'll definitely be contributing towards that and helping us a lot with that. So uh, I expect top grossing 100%. All right. And next up is another big thing a dual Dokkan Fest. And last time it was the Frieza and the Goku. And uh, yo, just made me realize that I still don't have the Frieza after a whole year, man. I still don't have this guy. I have one copy of the Goku, not a single copy of the Frieza. And um, a lot of people think that we're gonna get another Dual Dokkan Fest for this year as well. The, I think, pre predominant theory or the rumor out there right now is that we're gonna get a Cell and Gohan Dual Dokkan Fest for the Cell Saga, um, which could happen. It's definitely possible, but I don't see anything that really confirms it at the moment. Nobody has really said, like, I found something in the game files that would seem to indicate or something like that. So um, all I'll say right now is that possibly a dual Dokkan Fest, possibly Cell and Gohan. I mean, definitely expect a Dokkan Fest of some kind, maybe just one unit, maybe two, um, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be Cell and Gohan, it could be something else. So until more information comes out, until something concrete is out, I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna give anybody false hopes just in case it doesn't happen, but expect a pretty nice dual Dokkan Fest because the Frieza and the uh, Goku were pretty damn hype, and uh, I would expect something equally hype for this year too. And of course, you got their events going on here. Oh, and I forgot about this too, launches Treasure Hunt, the best event ever to ever come out for Dokkan. Uh, basically, it was available for seven days, you could do it once a day, and every time you cleared this, you got 10 Dragon Stones. Like, it was super easy, you just had to like go through the stage for like 15 seconds, and you got 10 Dragon Stones every single day for clearing this event, and you can do it up to seven times for seven days for 70 Dragon Stones. Launches, treasure hunt event, best event in the game, no question. Please bring this back. This, this has got to come back. Um, number 19 is the Fearsome Ginyu Force event where uh, we got the uh, AGL Piccolo. The AGL Piccolo who also got an Extreme Z Awakening. So uh, maybe we'll get another unit this year with a, you know, with the, like the free potential system as well as an Extreme Z Awakening right after. Um, but I mean, anything I say right now would be speculation. I'm gonna say Krillin again. <laughs> if Krillin is not the friend LR, then make Krillin the uh, Extreme Z Awakenable free to play unit. That'd be nice too, because you know, these guys are like these units um, that have these Extreme Z Awakenings these days, these free to play ones are all really, really good. Just look at like physical second form Frieza. Absolutely amazing. So a, a Krillin in this situation would be probably really good as well. Uh, and then number 22 is, you know, uh, Dokkan events available every day, uh, this Broly event, hopefully the revamp comes to global. And also, 
these uh, type orbs, or type orbs, these type orb banners uh, that can be summoned on once only. They also have the rotation just like we had for the four year anniversary. So we have the AGL first, tech second, STR third, physical fourth, and int fifth. And uh, you can do one multi per banner and you can get 3,000, actually, no, I think they upped it to 4,000 orbs of that specific type uh, each time you summoned. And like I said in a previous video, your, your rates of pulling the specific type of LR associated with these banners, so like tech LRs on tech banner or AGL LRs on AGL banner, is much higher than pretty much any other banner that's out there. So if you guys are specifically hunting for like a tech LR, like a Broly or a Goku and Frieza or so on and so forth, where you're specifically hunting for like LR Bardock because you really love Bardock, I do, and um, you want a chance, you want a good chance to pull them, like a better chance. I wouldn't say it's a very good chance, but a much better chance than average, then these actually are pretty worth it. Now, it's still not guaranteed. Like I personally summoned on all five banners during the four year anniversary and I went zero for five. So none of these banners gave me an LR, but I did see a lot of people pulling LRs left and right on these. So, um, like I said, better chance, but not an amazing chance either. So there are those. And uh, 25 is hidden potential weekly events are open during the weekend. Um, all the events basically are open on Friday and Sat Friday and Saturday. And uh, just more chances to get more orbs, never a bad thing. And then number 26 is a huge one. Stamina refresh time reduced from five minutes to three minutes. So uh, basically, you know, more, more opportunities to do events, do more runs. Um, if you're trying to rank up from the quadruple rank quest EXP, um, then you can rank up a lot faster that way too because your stamina refreshes faster. And once again, <laughs> Baba Shop discounts, gotta have that. So those were all the things for part one of the um, 250 million download celebration. And I do see a lot of things um, from here that we should see that are similar in the 300 million download celebration. And then now let's move to part two, guys. This video is going very long, so I'm gonna try to get through this as quickly as possible. Uh, part two brought in an LR that to this day still stands after a year, still stands as one of the best units in this game. And I don't think I'm giving anything away. I'm not spoiling anything here. It's it's right here. It's the Goku and Frieza. And uh, let's start from the very top. We got a new movie playing in the beginning. That's good. Uh, number two is a co-op challenge. So this co-op challenge is basically similar to the global versus uh, JP thing, except this time around, we're actually working together to complete certain missions. So as you guys can see, uh, there's some missions associated with this um, Jiren Extreme Z battle, and there was no Extreme Z Awakening for Jiren, it's just we just fought Jiren and like got stuff like as we cleared the levels, but there was no actual like Extreme Z Awakening associated with it. Um, and yeah, once you get these, we get some rewards, uh, we got a total of 25 for beating Jiren. And we also had some missions related to the uh, new Little Rangers event and also some uh, quest or event clears. And in total, it was something like 50 stones we got from this, I think, or 40. I think it's 25, 30, 40. Okay, so 40 stones in total. And for this thing, we collected the Super Dragon Balls, right? But uh, at the end of the day, like, I don't think we actually got any wishes from it or anything extra aside from these stones and these rewards, which were nice, like 40 stones is not bad at all, but uh, I do remember a lot of people were actually kind of pissed about that because they were expecting something huge since it was the Super Dragon Balls, and I think that's really Bandai's fault for um, using the Super Dragon Balls as opposed to just like regular Dragon Balls, because if it was just regular Dragon Balls, people would have would have had way lower expectations, but instead people were expecting something huge, like something game-breaking, game-changing, because it was the Super Dragon Balls and nothing of that sort happened. So uh, that was unfortunate, but still, at the end of the day, 40 stones is nothing to scoff at. So I personally was okay with it, but I do remember people, people being pissed about that. And um, yeah, hopefully you get something like this again, but maybe with a little bit less hype behind it so that people don't get disappointed and get pissed off. Uh, number three was a special Extreme Z battle. We fought Jiren. Number four is Supreme Challenge Battle Special Mission. So some special missions, I think, related to this. 
and uh, the new Little Rangers event with a new free to play Little Rangers unit. Um, number six, oh, so and I, I would assume we would probably get a new story event too here with a new farmable unit of some kind that both Global or and JP would be getting. Or maybe JP will get a new one and then Global can just catch up a little bit with one of the older JP story events. Like, let's say the. Um, I don't really know actually uh, which one would make the most sense. I guess maybe the Universe 6 event, the new Universe 6 event with the free to play hit, the free to play Vados, the free to play Champa, and the uh, Salno and Purina. Uh, because we did just get a change to the Vados medals um, on Global, so maybe that's a sign that we're gonna get the uh, Universe 6 event here, possibly. Who knows? And number six is special missions, another Dragonstone discount, and of course the legendary summon for the LR. Goku and Frieza, and for this year, I think another LR for part two is definitely in order, but uh, who knows what's gonna be, I don't know, maybe Goku and Gohan, <laughs> maybe, um, I don't even know, maybe full power Jiren, maybe uh, MUI Goku, lots of ideas out there, haven't really heard too many people speculate about the LR yet, because I think people are still more focused on part one, about that possible dual Dokkan Fest with Cell and Gohan instead, so um, once I get more information about this, I'm sure we'll hear more about the dual Dokkan Fest potentially, and also the potential LR as we get closer to the actual celebration, but for now, I'll say um, probably a good chance we'll get another LR, new LR for both versions um, for part 2, but I don't know exactly what that's going to be. Uh, number 10 is a new Dokkan boss rush available, so um, maybe for JP they'll get another new boss rush and then for Global we'll finally get the one we're missing from the JP side. I'd be quite okay with that, I mean that's a lot more new stones and um, I never really expect Global to be fully caught up with JP so that could happen I guess. And uh, number 11, 12, and 13, and 14 are all the return of the Dragon Ball Super events. And um, whatever the theme of, I guess maybe if it's like a Cell Saga theme, maybe like Cell related. What, what Cell story events are there? Oh, actually, I mean, part two would probably be a different theme from part one, right? So maybe it'd be something different. Maybe um, it'd be, I mean, if it's Jiren, it'd be Dragon Ball Super again. So maybe these story events will all come back again. Um, MUI Goku, same thing. Uh, it's hard to say. I don't really know. So I'm not going to speculate too much. It's kind of hard to speculate on the spot like this. So maybe if you guys have ideas, let me know in the comments down below what you think the theme of part two is going to be. I think a lot of people are already like set on the fact that part one is going to be a Cell Saga themed celebration, but that's not even set in stone yet, right? And number 15 is the uh, Elder Kai uh, banner. And uh, that's it. So we're going back to part one now, like all the part one stuff, you know, the ticket banner, all that stuff, all that good stuff. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Do I have anything else here? Um, no, that's it. So that is part one and part two of the $250 million celebration on Global and JP last year. Well, this was the Global News, but um, JP had a lot of similar stuff too. And like I said, I expect a lot of things to come back from this celebration for this year. Obviously there will be changes, but I don't know what those changes are. But the purpose of this video is just to let you guys know that um, there's a lot of good stuff on the horizon that's coming up for this download celebration. It's gonna be massive, a lot of free stones, free tickets of course. I might make a separate video just talking about like how many free to play tickets you guys can expect for the 300 million download celebration for this year uh, based on the number of free to play stones that we got um, over the last year. And uh, yeah, guys, get hyped, get excited. It's gonna be huge. There is gonna be one celebration in between um, now and the 300 million downloads. For Global, it's gonna be the Hero Celebration, and for JP, it's gonna be the Peppy Gal Celebration. Just little filler things before the massive, huge um, million download, 300 million download celebration that's coming up. And uh, I would definitely conserve my stones if I were you. I mean, here's the thing, I'm still going to be summoning on heroes for Global just because it's the first time they're coming to Global and I really want a lot of those cards. Um, and if you guys are planning to summon two, that's not a bad idea, but I would say don't go too crazy. Try to be a little bit conservative because obviously there are way better, way more hype things right around the corner after that. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. It went way longer than I thought it would, so I apologize if you guys uh, got a little bit tired. but. 
I think it was important and I'm glad I was able to get this information out to you guys. And uh, that's it. Hope you, hopefully you found this video entertaining and useful. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I got to say, guys. Um, once more information comes out, of course, about the 300 million download celebration and the specific units that are releasing, I'll keep you posted. But for now, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.